Hello, welcome back to another video presented by Acuity PPM, where today we're starting a new video series, Q&A on portfolio management. So we're here to answer questions, critical questions about portfolio management, starting with a fundamental one. What are we working on? This is a key question that every leadership team asks. They want to know what projects are going on in the organization. And before we jump in, be sure to subscribe to our channel because we put out great content that you do not want to miss. And so in this video series, we're going to focus on some of the key questions that come up in, in the context of project portfolio management. And in this video, we're going to start with this first one. What are we working on? We'll cover other questions such as, do we have the right projects? Where are we investing? Can we absorb the change? Ultimately, can we realistically deliver the portfolio? The answer to this first question is related to our project list. And we're gonna talk about the project list in a little bit of detail. A lot of companies do this in Excel. We're gonna show you Acuity PPM and how it helps provide that single source of truth. And there's a lot of benefits with having a centralized project list. In fact, this is one of the most foundational and first steps with doing portfolio management. You can't manage what you can't see. So one of the first steps in setting up a portfolio management process is you have to have a single source of truth so that you can answer the question, what is it that we're working on? So that if it's not on the list, it shouldn't be uh, worked on. And there's a lot of benefits of a good project list. Firstly, it tells uh, everyone in the organization, including the leadership team, what projects are being done right now. You absolutely need a single source of truth. You've got to have confidence in what you're working on and that you know what you're working on. It is the source of a number of your project and portfolio reports and analytics. It absolutely helps with portfolio communication. It helps facilitate that discussion across the project teams, the various departments, business units, etc. It's also a repository for all your completed, canceled, and projects that are on hold. You really need this single source of truth in order to have a successful portfolio management process. And it's part of your governance infrastructure. It's a key tool. And as noted at the bottom, the project list is a potential treasure trove of valuable portfolio data. I've worked at organizations that actually kept a lot of great data in spreadsheets. It was never analyzed. And once we got un under, the, under the cover, so to speak, we dug into the data, we were able to do some fantastic analysis. So it's very possible that even if you've got a good project list, you may not even realize how much valuable data you're storing in that project list. And here we've got a screenshot of Acuity PPM. We're going to uh, do a quick uh, overview of the project list in Acuity. So here we're looking at the project list in Acuity PPM. And what I wanna call your attention to in terms of answering the question, what is it that we're working on? Firstly, we've got our list of projects. These are our active projects. And you could certainly review your canceled, completed items on hold or pending. But by and large, 98% of the time, we're looking at our active projects. We've got all of our key metadata. And from here, we can begin to filter and sort and group uh, project data to, to view it the way we need to see it to help answer that question, what is it that we're working on? Well, Acuity makes this easy because we've got different dashboards that are portfolio uh, based, uh, aggregated from the individual projects. So what are we working on? Well, we're working on a lot of low priority work in this example. 63% of our budget is on low priority work. Okay, that should be an alarm. Uh, but that's just an indicator of what it is that we're working on. We've got a lot of other options. Several of these are custom. Uh, many of these are out of the box. Let's look at strategic objectives. What are we working on? Well, we're investing a lot of our budget on this strategic goal number two. I can, as a user, I can filter on that. And if I wanna see all the projects for our strategic goal number two, here it is. And then we can do the drill down which we would show in another video. 
Uh, but we can see what is it that we're working on? Well, we're not working on goal number three that much. Maybe that's okay, or maybe we're not investing. Check out the next video on are we investing in the right areas? We can uh, certainly look at it by department. What are we working on? Well, we can see what we're working on by department. If I wanna look at all the IT projects, I can filter on that. I can quickly see what IT projects we're working on or, or R&D. Of course, the departments are configurable, but in our example here, we can see key departments and the various uh, projects underneath each of those. So this gives you a quick overview so you can easily answer the question, what is it that we're working on? And then be able to slice and dice the data to present it to leadership so they are very clear what it is that the organization is working on in the portfolio. Leave a comment below. If you have other questions that you'd like us to answer, put it in the comments section. We'll either answer in the comments or we'll create a video to answer that specific question. Thank you, have a great day.